The music is silence for one band teacher in the city of Monroe. We're told he's now on administrative leave for taping a student's ankles to a chair. Seven Action News reporter Smitha Koloki is in Monroe, where some say the district got it wrong. Carissa Norris, a ninth grader at Jefferson High School, was booted out of school today, and she's proud of it. Miss Kreps caught us in the middle of the hall, and she tried to get us to go back to class, and I refused because I want my teacher back. If he's not going to be there, I don't want to be there. Her dad is proud of her, too. They're fighting to get a teacher in there that's willing to teach them and give them an education. I don't see nothing wrong with that. The father and daughter are among those taking a stand for the school's band teacher, who's been put on administrative leave for allegedly taking one lesson too far, taping a student's ankles to a chair to help better play an instrument. He tried to keep her feet on the floor, and she kept crossing her legs, and he was getting agitated by it, so he taped her legs to the chair to keep her posture. The district is investigating and declined any on-camera interview, but released this statement saying in part, the teacher is on paid administrative leave and may not have any contact with any students in any manner or be on Jefferson School's property. The safety and well-being of all of our students at Jefferson Schools is our top priority, and we will do all we can to ensure that a safe, supportive learning environment is maintained at all times for all students. Several students had planned a walkout in protest of the teacher's leave, but chose to stay indoors. I was told that if I didn't go with the principal, that I would be suspended. We also contacted the band teacher, but the woman who answered his phone said there would be no comment at this time. From Monroe, Smitha Kloki, 7 Action News.